I pulled this big bag of rose hips. This is Rosa Rugosa rose hips that I foraged at the beach last August. I just pulled it out of the freezer last night to thaw so I could make some candied rose hips today. So these are a little bit squishy because they've been in the freezer, but um, even if you get them fresh. Now this is Rosa Rugosa, which is the largest rose hip that you're ever gonna find, okay? That's why they're so big. When you get the tiny, tiny, itty bitty ones, you can't do this. It has to be some one of the slightly larger ones. Some people have candied these or, or cooked them like whole, but you need to understand the insides, and I'll show you here. Now you can see the inside there. What I'm doing for every one of these is cutting it in half. It's mostly seeds inside there. And these seeds, they're all covered in these tiny little hairs that are, um, this is what itching powder was made out of. Like in the 1950s, if you put your uh, put some itching powder down your sister's shirt or whatever, or in somebody's pants, it was made from the stuff that is on these seeds. So because of that, I choose to not eat that and not irritate the heck out of my throat. Um, I'm just saving this part. Now in the, in the summertime, when these are fresh, this usually is a little easier and it stays nice and hard because this is the part that you want to eat. This right here, it's delicious, super delicious. Very sweet and tart and vitamin C-E because it's full of vitamin C. So again, I really should have done this um, when they were fresh in August because then they would have been nice and hard. Right now they're kind of soft and this is a lot more difficult than it would be if they were hard and solid and fresh. But I'm still gonna do it anyway because I wanna try. This is, it's gonna be ugly candy, but it's gonna be candy. So I got this uh, monk fruit blend because I don't want to be using real sugar. Um, and I just put one cup of the monk fruit to two cups of water in this saucer. And I'm gonna start simmering that to warm it up. We'll see if that works. I've decided I'm gonna do a batch of um, picking them out, picking the seeds out before and candy those. And then I think there's gonna be enough sugar left to try a batch of just candying them whole. And I'll try to see if I can de-seed them afterwards and we'll see how that works. But just so you know, the reason that I froze these instead of just dehydrating them is that rose hips uh, maintain their vitamin C content and maintain all their vitamins uh, when they're fresh and when they're frozen but when you dehydrate them, they actually lose about 50% of that vitamin C content. So they're not like useless by any means. Um, they're just, they lose a lot of what, what they're really known for and what they're best helpful with. So that's, that's what I'm doing there. Um, and just FYI, I am going to compost the um, gook from the middle because I have no reason to save that. I don't want anybody to itch. I actually can feel a little bit of it on one of my knuckles right now, and it definitely, it's definitely itching. It's, it's, this is kind of a lot of work to do, but I'm hoping it's worth it, even with the monk fruit and not just sugar. All right, so the syrup is, is melted, and the bubbles are starting to form on the bottom, so it's starting to simmer, and I'm impatient, so I'm going to dump them in now. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, ah. I'm going to stir them around with a spoon. Oh my god, look, they're floating! Look, they're all floating. Is this simmering too hard? Heck if I know. I'm still gonna try it. it looks better now. I took the spoon and um, picked the couple of uh, seeds that were floating out. I think I might have picked out a bug too, but you know, the hazards of foraging. I don't feel like eating the bug today. Oh my God, you guys, look, look. I just tried this, just a little, little tiny bit of the water, right? It's still simmering. I'm gonna try it. That is so freaking good. Oh my God. I'm gonna save the syrup afterwards. Okay, it's still going. Sorry for all the mess now, but I'm gonna put some of the monk fruit on this plate here. Yeah, that looks better. Um, just so that I can, when I pull those out, um, I'm gonna skim them and roll them around in this. So extra sugary goodness. Okay, so they simmered for about 10 or 15 minutes and I'm gonna start pulling them out with a strainer here and trying to stick them on the plate. Let's see how this works. A little bit at a time. I'll roll them around afterwards. Let's just get them all out first. We're gonna roll these around, but first what I'm gonna do is take that um, water, turn the burner on again, and I'm just gonna take a handful of these and throw them straight in. So we're gonna try to candy these 
straight up like that. I'm not going to go too crazy just in case it doesn't work. Um, I feel like, yeah, one more. There we go. That's enough. Now these, I'm just going to kind of roll them around a little bit. Okay, so I guess rolling them in the extra sugar wasn't really necessary, but you know what? We're going to let them dry and see how they taste. Moment of truth. Let's see how they are. Mmm. Oh, those are sweet and tart at the same time. Holy cow. That basically is candy. It's ugly candy, but it's candy nonetheless. And like, like I, if you chopped these up and put them in a cake or something, like way better than raisins for sure. We'll see how the other ones turn out too. So these have been simmering for about 15 minutes or so, whole, and they're pretty squishy. So I'm gonna pull them out and let them cool. All right, these have been sitting here cooling. Let's see how easy it is to get uh, get everything apart. Ah, well, that was fun. Ow, that's stabby. Can I get, maybe I'll just poop out the insides. Poop. <laughs> so that's what that looks like. Moment of truth, I'm tasting this and risking the hairs so you don't have to. God, I hope there wasn't a bug in that. That wasn't a bug, okay. <laughs> it didn't soak up as much as the of the sugar as the other ones did. It's still sweet, but I mean, it can still t taste the sugary sweetness um, if you want it more tart, more tasting like a rose hip, definitely do it this way, the, the, you know, the whole ones. But if you want it tasting like sugary sweet, like candy, do it the, the first way. That's, that's my, um, end recommendation. I'm going to strain this syrup that everything cooked in, but. Oh, holy crap. Is that good? <laughs> There's the syrup. Isn't that gorgeous?